acyl compounds known as amides can also undergo nucleophilic reactions, addition elimination reactions with nucleophiles. And we're going to discuss the base induced hydrolysis and the acid induced hydrolysis with amides in this lecture. So let's begin with the base induced hydrolysis. So base induced hydrolysis simply means we have hydroxide as well as water that predominates in our mixture. So the hydroxide acts as the base, nucleophilically attacking the carbon, displacing the pi bond and forming the tetrahedral intermediate that contains a negative charge on our oxygen. Now in the second step we have an elimination taking place. So as the pi bond between the oxygen and the carbon is reformed at the same time we eliminate this leaving group and we form our anion, the NH2, that contains two lone pair of electrons as well as this carboxylic acid. Now this is a very very strong base and it will deprotonate this H off of our oxygen and in step number three we form our carboxylate intermediate, carboxylate ion. And in the final step to actually form the carboxylic acid we have to add some type of acid such as hydronium into our mixture. The hydronium basically protonates the oxygen forming the carboxylic acid. Acid. So this is the base induced hydrolysis in which we basically transform the amide into a carboxylic acid and the reaction mechanism is identical when we transform esters into carboxylic acids in ester hydrolysis. So this is very similar to ester hydrolysis except in this case we're using the amide instead of our ester. Now let's take a look at the acid induced hydrolysis of our amide. So basically the net result is the same exact thing. We begin with the amide and we end up with our carboxylic acid. The only difference is we're in the presence of an acid and so the reaction mechanism will be different. Now this reaction mechanism is essentially analogous to the reaction mechanism of the acid induced ester hydrolysis in which we transform the ester into our carboxylic acid. So in step number one we basically take the amide and we protonate that amide using some sort of acid. Well the acid present in the mixture is hydronium. So we go from a relatively poor Lewis acid to a very good Lewis acid that is resin stabilized. And in step number two this very strong Lewis acid can basically react with the water molecule our Lewis base. And now the water molecule is capable of forming a bond between our oxygen and a carbon and in step number two we basically form this intermediate, our tetrahedral intermediate. Now in step number three we have this uh, destabilizing positive charge on the oxygen and what that does is it increases the energy of this intermediate. So to stabilize this intermediate a water molecule present uh, in close proximity basically deprotonates the H off of our oxygen forming this intermediate that is more stable and lower in energy because we no longer have this positive charge on our oxygen. Now in step number four the hydronium molecule that is formed in step 3 now acts to protonate this nitrogen. Now the question is why? Well the next step is the closing of this oxygen carbon double bond and we have to kick off this group here. Now this is not a very good leaving group under acidic conditions. To convert this to, uh, from a poor leaving group to a good leaving group we have to protonate the nitrogen. So 
in step four, we protonate our nitrogen with the hydronium molecule to form water as well as this intermediate. And in step five, we basically reform the pi bond between our oxygen and carbon kicking off our good leaving group, this molecule here. So we form this molecule NH3 with our lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen and we form the resonance stabilized intermediate, our uh, protonated carboxylic acid. So we have three different resonance stabilized forms. And in a final step, we basically take our ammonia that is formed in step five and the ammonia deprotonates our H atom off of our oxygen. And that basically forms the final product, our carboxylic acid, as well as ammonium. So we see that the net result is the same exact uh, product, our carboxylic acid in both the base-induced hydrolysis and the acid-induced hydrolysis of amides. And basically, the reaction mechanisms of these two reactions is exactly analogous to when we used our esters instead of amides. Now, we can also take alcohols and react alcohols with amides under either basic or acidic conditions to transform the amides into esters. So if we take our amide and react it with alcohol under basic condition, the reaction is basically the exact, the exact same uh, thing. Except using our hydroxide, we use our alkoxide. So basically we go from an amide to our uh, ester molecule and if we are under acidic conditions mixing our alcohol with our amide basically follows the analogous reaction mechanism except instead of using the hydronium we use our, alco or our alcohol that is protonated and we transform the amide into our ester. So we can see that amides can also react in many different ways with nucleophiles.